Hey guys, Jagira here. So Blizzard have announced uh, Sombra at BlizzCon and I decided it would probably be good to make a little bit of a video because they've also put on the Overwatch webpage uh, up Sombra. Put on some of her abilities and all thought I'd have a bit of a walkthrough. So what I've noticed was uh, left click, right click. She's got no passive from what I can gather but her left click is a machine pistol. Short range spread fire. I'll probably say it's very akin to Tracer's weapon, but instead of having two, she's just got the one. Second is the ability Hack, where she can take control and disable an enemy's move. Uh, in the clip that Overwatch have on their site, she is stopping uh, Whole Hog, uh, Roadhog's ultimate. She's stopping that. I would be very interested to see if this would stop Bastion from his sentry mode and put him back into recon mode and force him to go back into recon mode yeah I mean I'm not too sure it'd be really good I also want to know what the range on that is like how far do you have to be from your target the delay on it looks maybe a second one to two seconds and that looks like it's a very channeled skill that she she's there with a glove like this for a while and then they finally stop doing what they what's there they stop doing what they're doing so that'll just be interesting to see next is thermopathic camo she becomes invisible uh, she be sorry about that she becomes invisible for a short period of time and she gets a speed boost but dealing damage or taking damage comes out of it straight away this is pretty good because this makes widowmaker very strong but it's the placement of the mine where she puts down the mine, she'll go over it, sends off the little da uh, damage over time will therefore basically force someone to reveal herself. She'll then probably be jumped on. I want to know how a Torbjorn turret and Symmetra's turrets will deal with that. Other than that I think Winston almost <laughs> holding down on left shift with Winston just having a lightning spray everywhere would probably be a good idea if you're that terrified of her. Translocator. This is an interesting one. Sombra tosses out a translocator beacon. She can instantly return to the beacon's location while it is active, including when it's in mid flight. This is pretty nice. It's like Tracer's recall, but you have some control of where you will end up. With Tracer, it's where you were previously up to 8 seconds, whereas with this, it's wherever it is. And in the video that they are showing us, it's quite a small little device. It's very... Uh, you wouldn't really notice it in the heat of battle, is what I'm saying. Uh, a bit like Widowmaker's Venom Mine. The only thing that gives it away is just that faint uh, glow. which you know, Whereas this doesn't look like it has any glow at all. I know it's one-time use. And you can return back to it. I think that would be a very, very good escape tool. You see, with Sombra's ult that's coming up here, this is the EMP. Sombra discharges, uh, Sombra discharges electromagnetic energy in a wide radius, destroying energy, uh, enemy barriers, shields, and hacking all opponents caught in the blast. So, hacking, I think she just means by paralyzing. From what I can see in the video. Then again though, they're not really moving. Are they? So. But she stops a McCree's ultimate. Stops Reinhardt's shield barrier. His right click. And it stops the Torbjorn turret. So it stops ults and turrets. With Torbjorn's Molten Core. Will it stop the ulting turret? You know, will it force it from level 3 back to level 2? Or will it keep it at level 3 but stop it from attacking? Would Torbjorn be forced out of it? Winston's primal rage. Will this force Winston to calm down? Would it force Winston to calm down? Pretty good. I think, therefore, it'd be very good to use your thermopathic camo, sneak him, drop your EMP, go back with your translocator, and, uh, yeah, then just stay around the sides. I mean, you could obviously hack Mercy. 
stop Mercy from going in resin, stop Zenyatta. That'd be good. I'd love to see how this deals with Zenyatta. Because obviously Zenyatta is CC immune during his ult, you know. Well, he's not really CC immune, he just can't be interrupted. I mean, he can be pushed about with Reinhardt's charge, Winston punching him, uh, Roadhog's whole hog pushing back. But with Sombra, will this actually stop Transcendence? Because currently the only thing which is strong against Transcendence is Arna's uh, Biotic Grenade, which will stop them from receiving any healing. So this could be a really big game changer, Sombra can. I think this is pretty much, though, the death of uh, the meme strats like Killdozer, where you have like three Torbjorns on the payload, or a Reinhardt and a Bash. I'm going to be so happy when those go, because there's nothing worse when you log in solo queue on quick play, you know, no one's in a group and all you are is you're up against someone who's like two free man, Reinhardt Bash, Jim Mercy. Have someone goes in Sombra, EMP will make it a little bit more of a fair fight and we'll just stop that sheer defence. But yeah guys, these were my thoughts on Sombra and obviously this opening for BlizzCon, do you know what I was talking about that? I thought I was like thought it was lagging and then oh, I knew it I think everyone knew it was going to happen Sombra was going to hack the event it was called it was called for by the entire community she was going to hack the event she done it but everyone still loves it so yeah it's great anyway thank you for watching guys I have been Jagira and I will definitely be playing her when she comes live in the PTR which is Tuesday so bye bye take care